All right, let's start with what a check valve does and how it accomplishes it. Um, so basically what a check valve does is it keeps all of your media, gases or liquids, flowing in the same direction. So it just prevents those gases or liquids from backflowing up your system, somewhat like a one-way street. You know, you can only move one direction. Um, the way that this is accomplished is by having some kind of a sealed ball or disc or, you know, some would call it a poppet. It seals against the inside of the inlet of the valve. These closures are often spring assisted, but they don't have to be, um, especially some of the larger type of swing valves um, work solely off of gravity and back pressure. So back pressure and actually closes that valve up, preventing any kind of backflow or backwards flow. All right, so let's look at an example of how you might use a check valve. Say for instance, you are working on a system that generates pressure into some kind of a reservoir, be it tank or cylinder. Once that tank is up to pressure, more than likely the compressor would shut off to prevent overpressuring of the system. When that occurs, after some of the pressure in the tank has been used, that compressor is going to need to restart to gain that pressure back. If that is a high amount of pressure already in the system, it's going to be a lot of work for that compressor to actually restart and gain pressure back into that system. Adding a check valve into the system just after the compressor would allow the user to bleed the pressure off before the check valve without having to completely drain the reservoir of pressure that's been built up. 